city officials tell me they're growing increasingly frustrated over all of this. The sheriff's office has to use tobacco laws to go into these places. They know they're going to end up finding illegal cannabis. And in this case, they found something much worse. Police officers pulled giant bags of evidence out of the Second Avenue convenience store. It was at least the second raid on this location for technically selling tobacco without a license. But everyone who lives in the area tells us it's an open secret you can get illegal cannabis here, which is exactly what police say they found, in addition to several bags of cocaine laced with fentanyl. Very scary, very scary. It's not a good look for the city. Neighbor after neighbor in this frustrated section of Midtown East told us more needs to be done to crack down on all the illegal smoke shops opening up. The whole neighborhood has changed. There's at least two smoke shops on every single street in a very short radius of like this 10 block area. But city officials, including the sheriff's office, say their hands are tied by state law, which while legalizing and regulating cannabis, also made it much more difficult to take action against illegal pot shops. We have seen the consequences in recent days. Thursday, we showed you how police had to shut down the Zazawaza smoke shop on the Upper West Side twice in 24 hours because it simply opened right back up after it was ordered to be closed. The NYPD had to bring in a sawzall to cut off the store's own padlocks and put on bigger, stronger, city-owned padlocks. And with both the mayor and governor in agreement that this situation is dangerous and strangling the legal cannabis industry, neighbors are left wondering why nothing has changed yet. I have no issue with people smoking pot. I just think it should be controlled and it should be legal, you know, legally accountable. Around budget negotiations, which are ongoing in Albany right now, there's been some conversation about allowing additional enforcement by either the sheriff's office or the NYPD, but really a concrete proposal has yet to come together. In the newsroom, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.